Hey guys, how's it going? No few outdoorsmen here. Hopper in the woods day with the young fella. Just up for a stroll now. Have a look around, checking out some old trails that's growed in. I'm planning on cutting out a little trail to a pond that uh, I haven't been to these years. So uh, that's the initial plan anyway. Nice cool day. Nice for walking, eh? And my son celebrated his 18th birthday yesterday. So that won't buy pretty fast. I wish I was 18 now. So and another fine stick of wood right here, look. I don't think I'll try that one on me back. Too big for me. Just check this out guys. The brook from my previous video, same spot. Most of the water's run off now, just take a look. You know, that's, that's one thing we find here in Newfoundland, you know. Even though sometimes we get a lot of rain and, all, and it, it runs off very, very quickly. That's a good thing, I guess. If not, we'd have a lot of floods around here, that's for sure. But uh, Floods is usually not an issue here. So we're uh, getting pretty well up to now we're where the trail starts to grow in a lot, but uh, we come across one little problem. So not uncommon, of course, after the winter that you get a lot of blowdowns across the trail. And you know, if you're coming in trout now, that is a bit troublesome. Now you could go out around it, of course, but uh, we're gonna get this one out of the way, make it a little bit easier when we comes in or trouting. You know, you got rods not in your hand, you got to be climbing over stuff like that. This is a pain in the arse, so we'll get this one cleaned up out of the way, you know. Yeah, I know. I walked in around there. <laughs> so uh, this one was actually, uh, I thought he was uh, like pretty well rotten off and broke off back there, but he's not. So I knew uh, I should have checked that first, I guess. So I should have cut off back here a little more. And I don't have my box saw with me that now, so I'm just going to leave it. We still got plenty of room to get through here. So, uh, that'll be all right for now. But uh, when I come in again, and I got my box saw with me, I'm gonna cut that off back a little bit further. But yeah, a little bit extra work, you know, helps out. Because usually when the trouting season opens, I don't miss with none of this. And if I'm going to a pond, I don't care about anything in the way or nothing like that, I'll just go on, eh? But, uh, so that's why I'm taking my time now, this is a week before, uh, uh, yeah, just one week now before trouting season opens officially. So I want to get all this done now because if I don't do it now, it's not going to be done.
That'll work. So boys, one thing about it, when you travel in the woods, uh, you, you don't know what you're gonna come across, but you never expect this. Now keep in mind, I'm roughly maybe close to two kilometers now from, from the high road, and this is what I find. It's an old Ford truck. Now, mind you, it's not uncommon to see a Ford like this, but you know, you don't, <laughs> <laughs> you don't expect to find it two kilometers in the woods or a kilometer and a half in the woods, right? Now, mind you, there was never, never um, like a road here as such. Hey, this old trail used to come through here, but man, this is nuts. Let's check it out. Old Firestone tires, look. Wow. Hubcast. Ford Motor Company. That's Hubcast. That's crazy, guys. We should never, would never expect that, eh? What a pretty, that's a crazy find today. I was, I was perhaps hoping to see a moose or something like that, but not an old Ford truck, eh? <laughs> Crazy. So we uh, made it into our location into the pan. So just looking for a little spot now to sit down and. Uh, cook up something to eat. Not a real, real big pan, but uh, hopefully there's some good trout here. Find out another week or so, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna ball over the water now. I got a pocket racket with me today. And, uh, Eat a little food, I guess. So uh, just making quick work of some food. I got some uh, some mountain house with me today. And you know, just that pay promotion, nothing like that. I actually like them, I buy them myself. And this one is um, chicken teriyaki with rice. This is the one I usually get. Uh, there's a few others, it's pretty good too. The beef stew is not too bad. But that's the one we got today. And you know, it's light to carry too. And it's pretty quick, just add some ball and water to it, eh? So just sat back now for about 10 minutes, wait for that food to rehydrate there, and I found a beauty spot for an overnighter. Real flat, which is, uh, you know, if you're from Newfoundland, uh, well, at least around these parts, like finding a nice flat ground is, you know, seems to be pretty difficult at times, eh? At least but from my experience, not much flat ground around these parts of the country, right? But yeah, found a pretty good, pretty good spot. So I'm thinking that uh, when the trout season opens, me and my son will probably come in and maybe stay in for our night or something, and make a good, you know, get a good four days, a good four day trouting in, right? So yeah, like I said, the trouting season is semi-open. 
got another week, week from today, next Saturday it opens, May the 15th. So I can't wait for that, I love trouting season. So hey guys, that's it for this video. Uh, short video this time. Uh, like I said, just coming in mainly uh, to check out that pan, see where he was to, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you know I had a clear trail getting to him and wouldn't have too much in the way. When it comes in, you know, got rods and everything in, in my hands, like I said, the one getting tangled up and tripping over a blow that I was an artist sort of thing, eh? Uh, never worked out too well last year with regards to uh, trouting videos or nothing, but. I'm going to put extra effort into it year and hopefully I can get some good trouting videos for you. So like I said, that's it. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Uh, like this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. You know, it really, really helps out the channel a lot. And uh, of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I really appreciate the support. And I'll see you in the next one.